Welcome to Scott Cooks. Today we're going to be making tuna melts in our Ninja Foodi using the grill grate sear and sizzle for reverse. We're going to cook on the back of it. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So let me go over the ingredients real quick with you. First off, you're going to need some tuna. If you're getting the tuna in the can, um, don't get the one with the oil. Um, try to get the one with the water. I'm not using tuna in the can. I'll be using the Phillips tuna here. 100% yellow fin. Um, really, uh, you should look for something like this or just get you a nice piece of fish. Uh, we're going to have some Duke's mayonnaise. Uh, I do say Duke's mayonnaise. If you're using any other mayonnaise, stop, hit the brakes, go get some Duke's. Duke's mayonnaise. Some butter, just leave it out. Trying to get it softened, I might have to nuke it. That's just for uh, butter in our bread. Need a half an onion. I got a pretty good onion, so you're going to need a small onion or a half of a medium sized onion. Um, celery to taste. Uh, most of this is going to be to taste and co to your consistency. I don't really want to give you an exact ingredient because you might make yours a little dry. I might make mine a little wetter. Um, I'm going with the seedless rye today. Uh, seedless rye is really great for this type of meal. And we'll be doing all of that tonight on our sear and sizzle on the back. So we'll just put our bread in our bread, get it toasted. We might even build a sandwich and try to flip it. We'll see. I've tried it a couple ways. Let's see how it goes. Let's go ahead and start by cutting this onion up. You need a small onion or um, if you got a big one like this, you might just need part of a half. I don't even know if I'm going to use the whole half on this one. It's a pretty good size onion. Also, of course, it depends on how much you want to make. We'll get that cleaned up here in a minute. Let's take a look at half. We'll do a quarter and see where we're at. Also, if you haven't uh, hit that like button yet or subscribed, go ahead and do that now for me. Appreciate it. And also let me know in the comments what you think about this new format of video. I'm just experimenting here trying to give you the bigger overall picture where normally I do close-ups of everything. Um, you know, we like to experiment a little bit around here. Yeah, I believe a quarter of that large onion is going to be more than, more than what I need. You know, I love onion in my food, as you probably know. But uh, the other half who's going to be eating this sandwich with me not so much on the onion, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so make sure you got yourself a nice big old mixing bowl. Oversized is great. Um, I think that's about it right there. I'm gonna pack this onion up. Go. All right, this is that Phillips whole 100% yellowfin tuna. Now obviously they have to pack it in something to preserve it. This is just a little bit of sunflower oil. And um, I want you to look at that tuna, y'all. This ain't tuna from a can. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. If you never had real tuna like that, do yourself a favor. Try it out. I've got that little bit of liquid that's in there. We're not going to use that. All right. We need to just break that down. Look at that beautiful pink tuna, guys. Is that something? All we're doing is just flaking it right now, just breaking it up a little bit. And then the more we mix, the more it's going to break up. But I want it a little bit chunky like that, too. All right, this part is up to you guys. How much, how little. We're gonna take two of these, trim them up real nice. These have been pre-washed already. These are clean, but if your package doesn't say pre-washed, you know what, I'm gonna wash these anyway, just so we can say we did it. Make sure you wash up your celery. Cut it, dice it, whatever you guys want in your tuna. Me, I like a nice big chunk of celery in mine.
and you can always dice it up a little more. I know there's tools to dice with. I've got them. You put it in a food processor if you want, I suppose. That's just a big mess. When that's all you really got to do. Grab a handful. Don't throw it all in at once. Don't throw it all in at once, y'all. Give it a stir. See if you got too much, too little. I could probably go with a little more in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's looking good. All right. The best part of any tuna salad is right here in the Duke's mayonnaise. I got a big old tablespoon overflowing, heaping on the counter tablespoon. <laughs> hey. It happens, guys. Okay, now I'm going to leave this one clean. And start with the one I already had in there. Now me, I'm going for just past, just past uh, moist here. I'll be cooking this in the foodie. I don't want it all runny, falling apart on me. I'm gonna tell you what, guys. That's just about the way I want it right there. Look at that. That's gonna make one heck of a tuna melt. Hmm. All right, you might have noticed I haven't put any seasoning whatsoever in it. It hardly needs it, but we're going to give it just a little shot of, you know what, my favorite. And you know, if you use this, a little goes a long way, y'all. So if you think he's not putting enough in, you'd be surprised. You need to try it for yourself. That adds a tremendous amount of flavor. And don't forget what we're after here. We want the flavor of the tuna. There you go, guys. It's tuna salad. We're getting ready for the tuna melt. Hang tight. We're going to do that. All right. The first thing we want to do is preheat that sear and sizzle. Power up your foodie. Throw her on broil. Crank your time up to just some crazy stupid number that's way more than you're going to need. 26 minutes. Go now. We want a good five minute preheat on that, y'all. So make sure you watch the timer or set another timer. You need a good five minutes. Let's get the bread ready while we're waiting. What I like to do is go into the loaf somewhere near the middle, get the larger slices out of the middle of it. These are pretty good pieces, pretty good sized pieces of bread. So I'm thinking I'm probably not going to get them both in there at once. At least if I do, I doubt I can get them flipped. Uh, these are pretty good size there. Soften enough for butter over here in the microwave. I'm use, I use real butter, y'all. No margarine. So yeah, that's good right there. This is unsalted cream butter and I could not imagine using anything else all right the reason you want this kind of butter is the fat content because you're looking for the browning this is the whole purpose of what we're doing here toasting these things up it's not going to take a lot of bread I'm not gonna take a lot of bread it's not gonna take a lot of butter Do is do these two separately. We'll do this sandwich in just a minute. And we're going to build this in place. I'll show you why. And this is what makes the cheese, the tuna melt, is sharp cheddar shredded cheese. We want to be patient, y'all. We want to give this a full five minutes. Because when this hits, when this hits, I want it, I want it browning. All right, y'all, here we go. I'm going to do this pretty quickly. Straight down on it. Load up your tuna. 
put on more than you think you're going to need for tuna melt you really want it really want it overflowing grab your cheddar put on as much as you want or as little as you want get your other piece of bread going I'll use the knife here to flatten that out a little bit. Beautiful. Down with the broiler. Now when the top starts to brown under the broiler, I'm going to attempt to flip it using two different spatulas here. All right, guys. We're nice and toasty on top. I'm going to attempt to give this a flip. All I gotta do is slip underneath of it, press it together, and give it a roll. Look at that. All right, I'm just gonna brown up the top, and this tuna melt will be done. Tuna melt using Phillips tuna, Duke's mayonnaise, sharp cheddar cheese, some celery, some onion, some Himalayan pink salt, pepper. Make sure you check the description, guys. There's some links in there for some of these products. There's some links in there for the Patreon and other good information. You hear that? Nice and crispy. Done up just perfect. Look at that tuna melt, y'all. If you like this video, Please subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. Click that like button for me. Make sure you share this video. I'm sure you got lots of places you could share it. It would help the channel out. I would appreciate it. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank all my patrons. Thank all my subscribers. And I hope you give this one a try in your foodie. See you on the next video, y'all.